Greetings programs and welcome to a bit of a, uh, a double feature review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Power of the Primes, Legend Class, um, see if I can get this right, Road Trap, and Battle Slash. So, uh, these guys were sold separately, but they do, uh, merge together to become, uh, one of only two, technically three, uh, Duocon characters. Uh, all the Duocons are Decepticons, uh, later I will look at the others. But, um, first let's start off here with, uh, Battle Slash, uh, he has a little uh, Decepticon symbol right there. A uh, little bit of metal flake to both the purple and the blue of the windscreen, you know, cockpit. A uh, little bits of red right there. Some purple on the, you know, right there under the rotor. And um, as this gun pointing out will uh, kind of give away a little bit. Um, I have actually upgraded these guys, so this is not the, uh, propeller that came on him originally. Uh, the original one is right here. It's a little bit shorter, and it does not have very good clearance at all. But, um, I think it was, um, Nonef, Nonef, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say it, but, uh, I managed to get, an uh, order in on their final restock batch of the upgrade kit for these guys. So, this is his uh, little gun that, he, that comes in the kit. So, this is not official. You'll have a slightly different, slightly more likely to uh, bump into stuff uh, rotary blade on him if you get him for real. And actually, really quick, before I uh, go into any kind of transforming, uh, another thing is you get this gun, which uh, looks like the a lot like the gun that they came with originally in the G1 toy. What you'll do is you'll actually come back here, fold out this guy's head, and peg this gun into the back of his head, and it will also peg onto the top of the car. And then you can just kinda drop a battle slash on top of him, and uh, give him their uh, combined vehicle mode that the original toy had. So, that's the thing you can do. If you're able to go find this set, the upgrade kit, because like I said, uh, at least as far as I know, they're not going to be making that kit anymore, but I'm sure you can go on eBay, find someone who's selling the set with the kit. So, um, yeah, back to this guy as a helicopter. Only real downside I have with him is... Uh, just the, the gaping hole right here it is unfortunately necessary for their uh, combination. Get him out of the way. But overall, uh, I do really like this helicopter mode. So to get him transformed, we're going to come back here, uh, pop apart the tail and flip it up. That will uh, end up becoming his legs here in a little bit. Uh, you're going to kind of rock the front the, the top of the helicopter up to unpeg that. Then uh, separate these out. And fold out his arms. Again, just... Right now, just trying to get him out of the way so we can do the rest of the transformation. Which I do have to uh, give myself a minute to remember how it works on this guy. I'm gonna fold this piece just as far up as it'll go. Then uh, fold this one forward a bit as well to uh, free up a few more joints here. One second. This can be... I haven't done this for a little while, so I might be remembering some things wrong here. Okay, why does that not want to unpeg for me? There we go. Okay. So, uh, point those back and it'll actually unpeg for you. <laughs> so, get these out of the way. Go ahead and fold these all the way down and under. Uh, 
and they will uh, peg together down on the bottom, turn his legs around the right way. Uh, while we've got uh, this part folded forward, pop out the head. And uh, there's like two little uh, tabs right here that'll go in right there underneath the head, kind of hold everything flat and in place. Uh, before you close these up, you're going to want to rotate this peg around. Keep that back panel open. So, fold those back and rotate the peg around. So, fold it back. Then this will peg back in, and as you can see, it's got tabs that go into those slots. That I was too stupid to figure out earlier. And there you have Battle Slash, or, yeah, Battle Slash in his uh, robot mode. And um, he's a pretty cool little robot, you know, uh, head moves side to side. Um, it does move all the way, it's just a little bit hard to get a hold of. Um, pretty nice little head sculpt there, bright red eyes, Septicon symbol on his chest like you'd expect, uh, He's very much got a wide, you know, cowboy stance, which, it works. Um, the arm joints are kind of weird because that peg is forward. So, um, but, you know, he can't move his arms forward, can't move them back at all. Uh, moves out. You do have a, a ball joint for the elbow, so you get your swivel and, you know, elbow and everything right there. Um, ball joint at the hip, so you've got, you know, the, your, uh, you can do the splits, forward all the way, back, uh, all the way if you move it out a little bit to get around the bit of kibble there. And, uh, another ball joint at the knee, so, get a knee swivel and, you know, not quite 90 degrees. And, uh, yeah, overall, pretty nice little figure. Go ahead and, uh, give him his gun here, because why not? I bought him a gun. I'm gonna give him a gun. He does keep, uh... Traditionally, he keeps the rotor blade on his arm, but one thing that they added in this version is it's a little easier to pop this off now. And it's actually molded so you can put it in his hand to be a sword. So, I'm going to take his weapons away. Now we're going to get him ready for the combine mode. So, for that, if I can manage to not be stupid, <clears throat> we're going to uh, fold this back open and fold this forward. Flip that head back in. Fold this head out. Then, uh, in, in the weirdest part of this whole setup, you're gonna, and I have to remember exactly how you do it, because it is not something that you would, uh, think to do on your own. You're gonna go through, like, this weird gymnastics thing to bring his arms in the back. I swear, I, I've read the you know, official directions on how you're supposed to do it like a dozen times. I can never get it to go the way they seem to get it. So, I'm just going to do this and, you know, uh, peg the arms together. I'm just going to do that and call it done. You know, I know it's not right. You're supposed to, like, somehow fold them flatter to the back and you know, since the rotary blade stays on, like, the blade will just kind of sit like this against his back. I'm just going to do it like that, though. So, forgive me for not doing this correctly. I'm doing it the way that I find works. So, we're going to keep uh, this chest piece folded forward. Go ahead and pull the uh, legs up like they were in the helicopter mode. Then uh, go ahead and tab all this stuff uh, back together. Fold that back down. And there you have the upper half of the combined robot. So, you get this out of the way for a second. 
<clears throat> and we're going to move on to Road Trap. Uh, Road Trap is thankfully much, much easier to deal with than uh, the other guy is. So, uh, you can see he's just a sort of an off-road vehicle. He's got his little um, winch here in the front, I guess that's supposed to be. Uh, bright pink windshield, which is hysterical. A uh, bit of a kibbly top there at what's very clearly going to be the robot chest, but it's whatever. Uh, wheels work pretty well. Um, the back is a disaster, but it's whatever. So, uh, to get him into his robot mode, we're going to uh, fold these little uh, wheel assemblies down. will free up the arms over here then just fold these back up and they'll fold up a little bit further this time go ahead and uh, fold this up and then this whole fold the uh, arms around here then this whole section will kind of come up to make the chest. Uh, you're supposed to be able to do it without splitting it. I usually end up getting it split. That's for the uh, combined mode later. But get that back together. Then uh, you're going to flip up. If you can, get the windshield to flip up. And then flip up the rest of the front of the car. Split it without splitting the rest of the body. <laughs> Turn the head around, and there you go. So here we have Road Trap in his individual robot mode. And of the individual robot modes, this guy is way better. It's a lot more coherent. Um, he keeps that kind of hot pink for his visor, which I like. Just a, a lot more little uh, details and, you know, paint apps on him in this mode than uh, Helicopter had. I, I'm sorry, the, the names on these guys confuse me. But, you know, overall he's a pretty good little robot. Uh, he's got a more normal shoulder joint. Uh, doesn't go full 360, but you've got, you know, all the way up, all the way down, all the way out. Ball joint in the elbow again, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Ball joint at the thigh, ball joint at the knee. And like, if you need to for some reason, you can pull this out and use it for something, though I don't know what you would need it for. And then, uh, obviously he, Trish, usually at least holds uh, this gun from the uh, upgrade kit. So... That is kind of the one downside to uh, the way these guys came stock. They didn't come with weapons. They really should have at least something like this because, you know, the original guy had a weapon. Let the new one have a weapon. So, anyway, to get this guy into his uh, ready for the combined mode, all we're going to do is move these chest pieces or this whole chest section back down, we'll actually rip the entire robot in half here, and then just uh, fold the arms back, you can tab them back in, which is why I usually do, but, you know, kind of up to you, just get them back and out of the way, however you prefer to. And he's done. He just becomes a pair of pants. So, we're going to go ahead, grab our uh, helicopter half here, then just shove the head into the uh, combining port down there. And there you have the complete Duocon uh, Battle Trap. And this is where it's at. He uh, ends up becoming a full uh, deluxe class sized robot. Um, Size comparison, here we have uh, Prowl from my, a, or not Prowl, uh, Barricade from my last review. This one's Prowl.
Anyway. Uh, but yeah, you know, so he ends up forming a full-size deluxe class figure. Uh, he does have a waist swivel now due to uh, having a head right there at the where they join. Um, really good range of motion on the legs. Uh, you know, the knee's kind of weird and high, but it works. Um, he even gets kind of an ankle tilt here using all this stuff. Uh, arms can actually 360 now, in and out, uh, elbow, uh, ball joint at the elbow, uh, still nothing for the wrist, which is a bummer, but, oh well, he just had every other joint pop in, um, love the head sculpt with the, you know, the goggles and everything, and again, I know I did this wrong, there's no really good right way to do the back, Unfortunately. Then uh, for fun, actually what you can do is take uh, both of the guns. Let's see, I know there's a specific way to combine them. Uh, see if I can actually remember it though. Oh, wait, duh. You uh, actually have to uh, pop this part out and then you can shove this gun into the bottom here. So you've got your guns combined. Go ahead, put that in his hand. Um, he does have, like, part of the tail fin still right there on his wrist. So thankfully they molded this, like, really narrow to be able to actually still fit around it. And go ahead and give him the uh, rotor blade sword in the other hand. But yeah, um, overall, while uh, their names really, really get in the way of my dyslexia, uh, I do really like these guys. Uh, it was, first of all, it was just really cool to see Duocons come out, because it had been like years since they had touched the Duocons when these guys just showed up out of nowhere. A um, little annoying that you had to buy, you know, go hunt down individual figures to actually get them, but... Not too bad, thankfully. Uh, neither figure was terribly rare or anything. And um, what you get is really good. You know, he's got you know pretty good heel spurs on him and everything. So, you know, he stands well. He's really, really poseable. You can do a lot of stuff with him. So, you know, definitely worth tracking down. And... Even more so worth tracking down if you can find the upgrade kit to get just, you know, the extra weapons and the better uh, helicopter blade. So, thank you for watching this dyslexic disaster, and I will see you guys next time.